Welcome back to another episode of the SEC Sports Guys. I'm your host, Hunter Ames, joined here with Jason Lee and the coach, Brandon Carden. Taking a look this time at the AT&T Cotton Bowl, January 7th, 8 o'clock on Fox. Be played at Cowboys Stadium in Arlington, Texas. Features the LSU Tigers against the Texas A&M Aggies. The Aggies are on a six-game win, win streak, knocking off opponents like Texas, Nebraska, Oklahoma, big, big teams. Other than a few slip-ups early in this season, they've had a pretty good team. They would have been a contender for the Big 12 championship. Uh, LSU made it through that, uh, that vicious SEC uh, gauntlet of teams. Uh, there are only two losses this year, national championship contender Auburn and then Sugar Bowl contender uh, Arkansas. So they've, they've fared well also. Uh, this could maybe appear to be a Texas A&M home game. It's only a couple hours from, uh, from uh, College Station. Uh, but those Bengals of LSU, they travel very well to these games. Uh, Cardinal, we'll start off with you. How does All-American Patrick Peterson and this LSU defense stop this high-powered Aggies team? Well, I think you got a key on on either the run or the pass. You know, the, they've had the receiver. A&M's had the, the big receiver who was all-conference for them. Um, and I think that's what you got to focus on. If you can shut him down, let's focus on the run game. Um, if we can't focus on stopping the run game at half, you got to go and say, all right, they're, they're killing us with the, with the pass. Let's, let's shut the pass down. Let's look at the run. We can't stop the run. You know, you got to choose one to stop. Um, I just think they're a high powered offense, and you got to go in knowing what keys to stop, what players to stop on that offense. So um, I look at Peterson to have a lot of uh, big game. I look at him to have a lot of tackles, maybe a couple interceptions, like he always does every game. Somehow comes up with mm -hmm. one or two. You know, he's all over the field. So. Um, he is the key. He is the key player for that defense to to step up and allow LSU to get off the field defensively. And, and Jason, what is Les Miles preaching to his offense this week? I think it just goes down to consistency. After that loss to Auburn, they decided, you know, this two quarterback system is not working for us. They went to Jordan Jefferson. They said, hey, you're our guy. Quit, you know, don't look behind you. At who we're going to put in? You know, who we're going to put in? If you mess up, throw an interception, fumble. Uh, so I think there's a lot more confidence there. They're looking for a consistency. You know, Jefferson can be a good quarterback on, on his good days. He's a dual threat quarterback. He can run. Uh, he's also showed the ability to pass. Uh, so I think if they, if they will just protect the ball, limit the turnovers, I agree with what you said, Cardin. I think that, you know, LSU is going to force a few Texas A&M turnovers. So if you can win the turnover battle, I think that you got a good shot at uh, pulling this one out in the end. All right, prediction time. Who do you have? You know, I, I said that LSU's got to limit the turnovers, um, but I, I think that Texas A&M is on a roll. As you said earlier, they're on a six-game win streak, but they started off three and three on the year, so they they've really gotten things gotten things together, and it's been led by by their defense. Uh, went back and forth on this one, but in the end, uh, with this game being in Texas, kind of a home game for A&M, I'm gonna have to go A&M here. Uh, I've got them 24-21 over LSU. Well, I'm like you, Jason. I went back and forth with this game. I kept throwing the teams back and forth and, and you know, running my mind, okay, they're playing at Texas, and, you know, it's going to be a home game. But then you throw in, like you were talking about, LSU travels no matter where they're at. Um, so the fan base, I think it'll be split even. I think it's going to come to, like you said, I believe it's going to come to what defense is going to stop it. Um, the way I'm looking at it, I'm looking at 28-27 LSU. Wow, very, very close. I'm going to take LSU 21 to 14, and the Mad Hatter is going to he's he has had a month to prepare, and I'm sure he will have a few trick plays here, and I think they get it done by a touchdown in this one. Again, that's the AT&T Cotton Bowl, January 7th, 8 o'clock on Fox.